It is an honor for the Philippine Science High School Caraga Region Campus to conduct its first in-person graduation to acknowledge the commendable and inspiring performance of our dear scholars. After six years, they will finally go and leave the portals of the premier science high school in the region to continue pursuing their dreams and aspirations as future scientists and engineers of the nation. The determination and zeal of these students are admirable that have made them the pride of Caraga region. Truly, worthy to be called the scholars of the nation. Today, we also celebrate the triumph of the BSHSCRC in producing its third batch of graduates, leaving its commitment in producing scholars imbued with the four values of integrity, excellence, and service. Ladies and gentlemen, the entrance of the callers. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating Alas Asurgo, class of 2022, with our distinguished guests and the faculty and staff of the Philippine Science High School, Caraga Region Campus, for the processional.
The singing of the Philippine National Anthem will be led by Engineer Neri C. Nunez, Special Science Teacher 1, Agriculture, to be followed by an invocation by Ralph Elijah F. Arquisola, Alas Asurgo Class of 2022, Academic Awardee with High Honors. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. Dagat at kundok sa simoy at sa langit mong buha May dinag ang tulang at awit sa pagkayang minamahal Ang islat ng watawat mo'y tago ay na nagliling Ang bituin na araw niya kay ka, walang di magdidilig Lupa ng araw ng luwalhat at pagsinta Buhay ay langit sa piling mo Ang bigaya ng pagmay mga api Ang pamatay ng dahil sa'yo Let us bow down our heads and feel the presence of the Lord In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit Amen. Almighty Father in heaven, you are the God of all gods, the King of all kings, the one and only, whose name we praise and glorify. Lord, the works of your hands are indeed amazing, and we thank you for the blessings you have showered upon us. We thank you for the blessing of this school, which we call home, the Philippine Science High School Caraga Region Campus, for the education that has built us to become patriotic and holistic individuals. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing of our faculty and staff who have taught us valuable lessons and brought out the best selves. The blessing of our families who have shown their endless guidance and support through our highs and lows. The blessing of our dear batchmates, the graduating class of 2022. We thank you, Lord, for bringing into our lives these special friends we made along the way who we hold close to our hearts as companions in our academics and as companions for life. We gather on our graduation day today to celebrate with you, Lord, all the great achievements we have accomplished as high school scholars. We thank you for the completion of our six-year high school journey, and may you continue to guide us until our next journeys in life. May the values of integrity, excellence, and service, which we instilled within us in the past years, remain strong despite any distance, in our college years and up to our respective careers and life goals. Lord, we ask for your grace to carry on using our talents to the fullest, your courage to keep moving forward, your knowledge in making life decisions, your wisdom to continue standing up for others for justice, equality, and peace, your honor to become gifts to others and the world. May your spirit be with us always and forever. This all we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Before anything else, we would like to acknowledge the presence of our distinguished guests, starting off with Honorable, Honorable Alfredo M. Coro II, Mayor-elect of the Municipality of Del Carmen, Surigao del Norte. Sir, welcome po. Welcome to Pisay Caraga, Dr. Jonald P. Finesos, 
Campus Director of Philippine Science High School, Southern Mindanao Campus. Welcome, sir. Of course, we have the Regional Director of the Department of Science and Technology, Caraga, Engineer Noel Aho. Sir, good afternoon. We are also honored to have with us the Commander General, Commodore Eduardo P. De Luna, Jr., District Commander of Coast Guard, District Northeastern Mindanao. Sir. We also have Ms. Elaine Makatangay Morales, the former president of National Alumni Association. Ma'am, welcome po to Kusay Caraga. We also have Mike Kababayan, Dr. Josefa Paloma, president of Northeastern Mindanao Colleges of Surigao City. Good afternoon, ma'am. And of course, we have our GPTA president, Dr. Kathleen Grace C. Gamutan. Doc, good afternoon. With us also are our division chiefs, together with our campus director, Engineer Emil Sanchez. Good afternoon, sir. At this moment, to formally welcome us to this third commencement exercises, let us have Jerji Un Tuazon, Alas Asurgo, Class of 2022 Academic ORD with highest honors. A round of applause. To our distinguished guest, Honorable Alfredo M. Caro II, Municipal Mayor of, of Delcarmen, Surigao del Norte, Ms. Elaine S. Moral, M. Morala, Morales, PSHS National Alumni, former President, Dr. Josefa Paloma, President of Northeastern Mindanao Colleges, and Dr. Hernando P. Finasio, Campus Director of Philippine Science High School, Southern Eastern uh, Southern Mindanao Campus, and Engineer Noel M. Ahok, Regional Director of DUST Caraga, our hardworking Campus Director Engineer Ramil A. Sanchez, our dedicated Division Chiefs, faculty, and staff of PSHS CRC, supportive parents and family. And my fellow graduates, a pleasant day to you all. On behalf of my batch, it is an honor to welcome all of you to this remarkable milestone of Philippine Science High School, Caraga Region Campus. The first ever in-person graduation, wherein we celebrate the achievements of Class Alas Asurgo. It is surreal to be surrounded by the people who have impacted our lives immensely throughout our high school years. Indeed, your presence with us today is highly significant. It was only two years ago when our way of living and our daily routines were forever changed when the COVID-19 pandemic struck the country. Not only did it force us to stay indoors and adjust to a new normal setting, it also affected our individual lives as our health was at stake and our relationships were disrupted. All these recent happenings make this graduation today all the more special, as this is also the first major gathering in Pisay, Caraga since the start of the pandemic. With the pandemic, we all were uncertain for the future, especially that our education would be halted. But lo and behold, everyone, especially our courageous and innovative Pisay faculty and staff, never ceased in promoting science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM education, by devising strategies that would ensure every Pisay scholar would still have access to quality STEM education even in the midst of the pandemic. Both teachers and students dedicated themselves in adjusting to the changes brought by the pandemic with them learning different platforms for online classes and utilizing available online resources. The common factor among the students and teachers that I want to emphasize is not just adaptability and resiliency, but the extensive use of STEM in daily life. We Filipinos thrive despite any obstacle like the pandemic because of modern technologies and numerous people dedicated to STEM and research. For instance, 
vaccine research, and production were made possible by STEM, which in turn alleviated the burden and restrictions of the pandemic. The grad ones here today have the potential to be the future leaders of the STEM-oriented world. And it's all thanks to how Pisay Caraga has shaped us into utilizing STEM to become adaptable and resilient individuals. Having access to STEM education at an early age truly enlightened us the essence of STEM in improving human life. With STEM, humans continue to adapt, thrive, and survive despite any calamity or crisis. As I stand here before you today, in our first ever in-person graduation, I urge you all to never lose interest in STEM. Instead, incorporate STEM with the adaptability and resilience that you have. STEM education will always prevail, especially in times of uncertainty, because it holds the possible solutions to the world's problems. Once again, I warmly welcome you all to this momentous event made possible by the efforts of Class Alasa Sergo and the Pisay Caraga community, especially from the support of our teachers, staff, and parents. Thank you and congratulations, Class Alasa Sergo. Thank you very much, Georgie. Of this juncture, Inspirational messages to the graduating class will be given to us by the Executive Director of the Philippine Science High School System, Director Lilia T. Habacon. This will then be followed by the message of the Secretary of the Department of Science and Technology, Honorable Fortunato T. De La Peña. A big hand, please. Dear graduates, hope springs eternal. Your diploma from the Philippine Science High School System is a landmark of success that you fought and worked hard for. This accomplishment is the result of your resilience, mental fortitude, the strength of character, and discipline. The COVID-19 pandemic has tested many aspects of life. I appreciate the way you adapted to the challenges of remote learning and the manner you carried yourselves with honor and dignity, despite the social-emotional trials that confronted you during these trying times. Likewise, I am optimistic that these challenges have made you better persons, seekers of learning, and decision makers who are inspired to explore life's possibilities with passion and purpose. As you enter another chapter in your life, it is your deeper sense of willingness to learn and be taught that will propel you to achieve your dreams. As you take on bigger responsibilities as young adults, do not allow the pain of failures and the bitterness of setbacks to make you quit. These experiences will nurture your growth mindset and thrive outside of your comfort zone. The world is not a bed of roses. Even in your realm of convenience, problems may arise. Keep on pursuing your goals and dreams, even if you are hurt, alone, broken, wounded, tired, rejected, or scared. The world outside the Philippine Science High School shall welcome you with paths toward self-discovery, boundless opportunities, and conflicting realities. Stay focused and use your dream, your assets, and grit to meet your potential. As Pisay scholars, you are a valuable asset who must persevere and keep the passion for long-term goals aflame. Your alma mater would be proud to know if you would be leaders in science, technology, and innovation, who contributed to improving the quality of life in the place where the universe has conspired to make you thrive and grow. Moreover, the PSHS system 
would be grateful to see you as happy, successful, and proactive enablers of positive change. I hope that you would also make an impact by saving lives, creating jobs, improving social services, building communities, and empowering the hopeless, the deprived, and the underserved. Congratulations, besides scholars, on your well-deserved success. Congratulations, PSHS BATS 22. To overcome adversities in these trying times, the graduating class of 2022 has displayed resilience and grit that the scholar ng Bayan is known for. Being in Pisay in the pre-pandemic time is no easy fit, much more that the world has been subjected to the challenges of COVID-19 pandemic for two years now. This makes me doubly proud of you for what you have recently accomplished, completing the six-year PSHS curriculum. Your journey in Pisay is about to close and your next chapter, the university will come next. While university life may be shorter, it has its own version of challenges, maybe something like PSI 2.0. I am optimistic that you will succeed because PSI has prepared you for this the past six years. I am certain that in your university journey, you will continue to make your PSI and DOST family proud. You enter the confines of Pisay as wide-eyed preteens, and you will live as young adults, ready to pursue a higher level of education. You will put your quest to make your own mark in our society to the next level. At first, you might get intimidated by a world much bigger than what you have seen so far. Have no fear. For as you learn more and discover yourselves better, you will soon see the world become smaller and yourselves playing a bigger role in it. Take advantage of these moments of learning from other people because soon you will be the one to teach those who are next in line. Society expects you to continue this cycle for you are future scientists and builders of our nation. Padayon Bats 2022, stand with the people for truth, excellence, and service to the nation. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Let's call on Carl Matthew A. Kahlo. Alas Asurgo, Class of 2022, Academic Awardee with High Honors. A round of applause. Honorable Alfredo Matugas Coro II started his professional career as a consultant for information technology in multinational companies both in the Philippines and abroad. He graduated with a degree in computer science in the University of the Philippines, Las Banas in 1998, and later earned his master's in technology management in the University of the Philippines, Diliman. He attended various conferences and seminars that focused on several aspects of his professional career. Some of these include the IT management program of AIM Manila in 2006, the Clean Technology of Mashav in Israel in 2013, the International Visitors Leadership Program of the U.S. State Department in 2014, and the Executive Course of National Security of the National Defense College of the Philippines in 2018. In 2019, he became a Senior Fellow of the Equity Initiative Program as funded by the Atlantic Philanthropies and China Medical Board and was recognized as a distinguished alumnus by the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. He served as the municipal mayor of Del Carmen in the Siargao Islands for three terms, 
from July 2010 to June 2019. Under his leadership, governance, and use of partner-driven approaches, the city of Del Carmen improved in various societal sectors, such as health service delivery, education reforms, sustainable fisheries management, community-based tourism development, and efficient and effective local governance. During his nine years as mayor, the municipality of Del Carmen received numerous awards for its governance and innovative public service, namely the top five champion for health governance from the Department of Health in 2015, the WHO Social Innovation for Health program in 2017, the Galing Pook Award for Local Governance Innovation in 2018, and the prestigious Hall of Fame of the Seal of Good Local Governance from the Department of Interior and Local Government in the years 2016, 2017, and 2018. He was also named one of League Magazine's top 10 local government leaders in 2018 and received the Zwelling Family Foundation and DOH Leadership Award in 2016 and 2018. He has recently completed one term as vice mayor and is currently the mayor-elect of Del Carmen. He has since then achieved numerous accomplishments under this term, including the Mindanao Legislative Governance and Leadership Award in 2020, the Gawad Kalasag Awardee for Disaster Risk Reduction and Management in 2021, and the Most Impactful Island Innovation Ambassador in 2022. Apart from his role as local chief executive, he also serves as an advisor of the ICLEI Global Executive Committee, as well as the Armed Forces of the Philippines Leadership Development Center, the founding president for both the Metro Siargao Island Alliance for Development and the Shargao Unified Resources for IT, and an honorary member of the Philippine Institute of Environmental Planners. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the commencement speaker for this ceremony, Honorable Alfredo Matugas Coro II. Please take a seat, Pastilan. I will speak in the vernacular. Kasabot mong surigaw nun, di ba? Okay, gisawan ko sa introduction. Can I remove my mask? Okay lang. Gisawan ko sa introduction. Kaya taas-taas pa masakong surtihon. Bitaw, was just like you. Uh, a few decades ago. But let me start by saying first um, some greetings para mapakaon taon niya, Apil. Una kang campus director, uh, Ramil, sir. Marajaw na hapon to our DUST regional director, Sir Noel. Ang amigo, mango din ako, so mag-sir, sir lang ko nila. Our uh, southern Mindanao campus director, uh, Sir Donald Finesius, sir. Our uh, GPTA president, Dr. Kathleen Grace Gamutan. No, Doc. And of course, ang atong pinayanga na PSHS alumni, former, pres former? former president, Elaine Morales. Tarak pa ka nato kay... <laughs> Dili mo maswear in as alumni. Of course, to the faculty and staff of the Philippine Science High School Karaga Region Campus, Marajaw na hapon, to everyone. Our dear parents, atong palakpakan yun atong mga ginikanan. And atong mga relatives, and to yourselves, the graduating class of 2022. If I may also request, from time to time, you can check out the PowerPoint presentation. Dili ni lecture. This is your story. So let me begin by saying thank you very, very much to the Philippine Science Caraga Region family for all the support extended to the municipality of Del Carmen during the relief operations following the Super Typhoon Odette landfall last December 16, 2021. It is almost six months and we are now moving 
towards recovery of our homes, our livelihood, and our community. So again, on behalf of the people of Del Carmen, salamat gajud karajo, sir. Let us then congratulate the management of PSHS Caraga for bringing together the campus where it is today, perting ninduta sa inyong campus. This is my first time in the campus, and I have longed to visit since its inception a few years ago. Finally, I have my chance today. Unya maglaglag yut ko sa campus. And I am in awe. I have seen photos. I have read your achievements. Grabi mang hambog si Director Ramil. But it feels different to be physically here today. This is a place where I feel I belong and to much I owe where I am today. I will start by sharing my time sa Pisay. The non-serious side. Dili ka ng mga kaseryusan ninyo. Okay? Okay lang? Storyahay lang ta. My time in Philippine science was the time of action stars sa Pilipinas and action films in our Philippine cinema. Many of which are our lawmakers now. Hindi na lang ta mag-mention. A time when there were only two campuses in our prestigious school. It was in Diliman, sa Manila, and Davao. And I stayed in the Diliman campus for one reason only. Coming from the province, what is abroad and overseas today was our abroad before. Manila was already a land of fulfilling dreams. It also was a time when the public internet was just starting with the use of floppy disk. Kabalo mo unsay floppy disk? Kabalo pa. Bright good mo. To dial up connection and then connecting to Netscape and Friendster. Kabalo mo unsay Friendster? Wala na. Mangutan na mo sa inyong mga ginikanan unsay Friendster. They were our cool websites. My batch, akong batch, has a bunch of doctors. Dr. Verzosa is a Gawad Lagablab awardee. Mauna ang pinaka-prestigious nga award sa alumni sa Pisay. Di ba ma'am, Elaine? Yes. We have also a bunch of engineers that can make engineering. One invented something for NASA. Kabalo mo, Ana, na may batchmate nga nakatabang sa NASA. We have IT professionals, kay Uso, at that time, actuarials, artists, and our share of public servants. Apil na ako. To this day, thanks to the internet, all of us have remained in contact and as friends for all, after almost 30 years. I met some of them just a few days ago dito Singapore. I have lived in the boys' dorm. Na by dorm, diri, sir? Na dorm, oh. Since I dormers, there. Oh, pari pari huta. I have lived in the boys' dorm for three years and re was requested to be off campus for my last year in high school. Yes, upatra mi katuig sa una sa high school. Dili paras karon. Your theme today is championing STEM education for greater adaptability and resilience. Going through a high school. Dili ko kabalo sa inyo karon ha but I had three science subjects, two math subjects, one computer subject, technical writing in English and Filipino ug na pay research. I think there is no argument already that Pisay championing has been championing STEM education since 1978. To this day, I still remember the fried rice every Friday sa cafeteria. The games every after school, basketball, magvolleyball, unsa na lang. And the walks around the campus. And you have a very beautiful campus to walk around also. I also remember at that time, the Mount Pinatubo eruption. High school ko ato. Kudeta. At the Parks and Wildlife, sa Luyo, sa main campus na ang Parks and Wildlife. And the infamous Luzon earthquake. 
and many more experiences while trying to conduct research, figure out calculus, and of course, is still acting in a play. All of these things shape our thinking and our outlook in life, including me, Tagatabok, as we call ourselves before, prior to Siargao being famous as it is today. At this point, let us talk about you. Sakto ba ang picture? Kamu na ba ang nas picture? Your time in Philippine science started just about the time Hollywood released a bunch of superhero movies that made us believe in a different reality with villains, alternate Earth, and aliens can be defeated by superhumans, superior technology, and applied sciences. Action star gihapon, high tech lang. So the nerd in me is asking, or you can ask your seatmate, who is your favorite superhero? What is your desired superpower? My youngest son would want the Flash. Therefore, super speed would be his desired superpower. He often thought of tachyon as a real existing particle. This hypothetical particle travels faster than light. That can now be tapped for good use, according to Flash. But her aunt, a chemical engineer who invented the chemical used as glue for breaks in cement foundations of bridges, bluntly explained that currently it is not yet available, but then he has the opportunity to actualize its reality. Kining takyon. This is the power of inspiration and imagination. I often say in the last three years of attending various graduation ceremonies, that your generation is the most educated, has the most support for learning, and with the most access to information. With all these big data inputs, I beg you to not underutilize the inspiration it can bring and the imagination of the things you can do. 2022, Karuna Gudni. Your time to leave the campus, many of you have called home for the last six years. Sakto, no? Six? This is a culmination not of researches, online classes, modules, but of your interest on how science, technology, math, and communication will shape your choice for a course and a career. In the last six years, we have been grateful to our families and our ng inyong mga pamilya for all the support and for being patient. Isod ba yan? Gamay-gamay lang. Mama, wala yung internet, tinay. And to our teachers also for bringing out the best of ourselves. But we also have to remember the staff, the tricycle drivers, the laundry, tigalabanato, at ang mga magluto ay all of the community that allowed you to flourish and be here today. To your friends and to some of you, na among yun siguro ni boyfriend, girlfriend, na ah, walay magtingog kina ang parents. They made sure that you show up in school to finish your reports, etc. I beg you again this time to find the time to be thankful to each of them. I am sure the choice of your college course and degree was heavily influenced not by one, but by the collective inputs from everyone around you. But before you officially leave campus, let us look back in the last two and a half years of our lives. Kuyaw baya ang inyong experience. You experienced being part of a global pandemic Hantod karon na apagihapon. You witness and experience extreme weather events, most recent ang si Super Typhoon Odette, and is a witness to an ongoing horrible human conflict in Europe. I want you to reflect on this. 
because the choices you will be doing soon for your careers and purpose will bring you back to these moments. Kining karun. The additional subjects and courses we take in college and in universities will not necessarily mean the career careers we will make for the rest of our lives. Ako mismo, I am a computer science graduate. I started my career in research and development of mobile computers kanang mga laptop, R&D. Then I moved to global management and karun public servant of a local government. Let me therefore bring back your theme, championing STEM education for greater adaptability and resilience. Your training and time here in Pisay will help you discern how to use your learnings in STEM to make the right choices later on in your life. Karantisado na. Now, finally, let us talk why I am here. The last few minutes of our dialogue, istoryahay, as I like to call it, sa amu apa among tawagon tambayayong, was about recognizing the value of PSHS in your life, for your families, and for your communities. I wanted to talk about your personal values, karun, as your most important asset. Your values are often formed in your younger years, in research, ingon sila mga 9 or 10 years old na ma-form. But recognize only in your age now, mga 18 ana. You, And these values that you have will be your guide in decisions you will do forever. When I was asked by Director Ramil to be your commencement speaker, the first thing that came to my mind, kabalo mo unsa or kinsa? Si Taylor Swift. Exacto man to pagtawag ni Director Ramil that Dr. Swift, as we now call her, was recently conferred an honorary degree by New York University. The same university that annually sends graduate students to Del Carmen to conduct rapid assessment for impact of our local government programs the various sectors of the population. In fact, na pa sila karon dito. There are graduate students of NYU in Del Carmen karon. In 2019, I was advised when we presented the results to NYU, no na ako sa New York at the time, that the summer program in Del Carmen would be equivalent to a three-unit course. So pareho na ni Taylor Swift na three-unit course sa NYU. Now, what is the relation of these stories to personal values? First, NYU would have never worked with LGU Del Carmen for almost a decade, dugay dugay na, if they could not see the shared values connecting us with each other. Through this partnership with NYU, we pushed for innovations in every sector, health, education, environment, governance, youth, etc. To show that regardless of how small, remote, or limited in resources we have, we can serve our communities with quality and the best public services available. To date, our programs in Del Carmen have been recognized locally and internationally to help address poverty alleviation and transform community behavior. Second, to quote Taylor Swift, decide what is yours to hold and let the rest go. This is not an advice, but an insight. No matter how smart you are, no matter how driven you are, think what is important, valuable to you, and never ever compromise those that are valuable to you. They help define who you are now and later in life including your decision kung ma-appeal ba mo sa Swifties or Dili. Kabalo mo sa Swifties? Ah, kabalo. Patch me, trata. Let me share my own personal values I hold dear to highlight this moment. Number one is faith, akong pagtuo, family, and fairness. Fairness is what kept me going 
to innovate solutions to help Del Carmen, island communities around the world, and all vulnerable sectors to have access to quality public services that they need. This is your first face-to-face -face graduation, and the honor and privilege of speaking before you all was shared with me. Salamat, Gajud Karajo, sir, sa invitasyon sa nagpagsalig. Arang ko na nasawan hantod kuman. All of you will be headed to colleges or universities to hone further technical skills of your interest in face-to-face -face settings already. Let me tell you this, to be clear, based on experience, just because you graduated from PSHS will not make you better than anybody else, although it does give you a huge technical advantage. Be humble enough to recognize that there are many more students that are better and smarter than you. Never be arrogant to think that you are privileged for being a graduate of PSI. And lastly, show empathy to your community and share what you already know. There is much more to life more to life has to offer you. College will get you at least four more years before you decide to extend more time studying or learning about life through other means. But do not allow the courses you will take to define what you will be doing forever nor how your life will shape out. You will find meaning and connections of all the decisions you will do later in your life to realize that the decisions you did will shape your life's wonderful story. Let me therefore summarize the most important value and character of being a PSI graduate. Be a good person. No matter what the circumstances may be in college, whatever decisions you will take, just be a good person. So when we live here today, pag humaning graduation, let us live together as good people and we'll continue to live our lives as good people. In closing, let me quote UN General Secretary Antonio Guterres on his response to the global pandemic and our fight for goodness. We are in this together and we will Get through this together. Mabuhay ang PSHS alas asurgo class of 2022. Hang loose. Salamat Karajao, Honorable Koro, for taking us back to your humble and inspiring beginnings. You are always welcome here in Pisay Caraga, sir. And now, to present and confirm the candidates for graduation, let us welcome the campus director of the Philippine Science High School Caraga Region Campus, Engineer Emil A. Sanchez, and the executive director of the Philippine Science High School System, Director Lilia T. Habakon. A big hand, please. Good afternoon, everyone, to our uh, honored guest, uh, PISAI alumni, Sir GR, of course, uh, our uh, guest from the National Alumni Association, uh, Director Lilia T. Abacon, Executive Director of the Philippine Science High School System. It is my honor to present to you 88 scholars, 42 males, and 46 females who will graduate this school year 2021-2022. They have satisfactorily completed the basic requirements of the six-year special science curriculum prescribed for the scholars of the Philippine Science High School.
and by virtue of BOT Resolution Number 2022-0645, confirming that you have satisfactorily completed the basic requirement prescribed in the system under the six-year special science curriculum, I now declare you graduates of Philippine Science High School, Caraga Region Campus for school year 2021-2022. Congratulations. When I was 14, I was given a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity by Pisay to attend a five-day science competition in Malaysia. It was called the ASEAN Plus 3 Junior Science Odyssey, and I had participated in it as the youngest and the most wide-eyed member of the PSHS CRC team, comprising me and two amazing seniors from Batch 2021. The event was a blast. I met people my age from all across Asia, realized how much I had taken Filipino food for granted, saw how being a fan of BTS and K-pop was the bridge between any two Asian cultures, and learned that out of the three primary scientific disciplines, I really liked biology. But what stuck with me the most when I think about that trip weren't the new experiences and not even the awards. What I remember is a memory of all of us huddling in the center during the last night of the program which was the cultural and fellowship night, just before we returned to our home countries the next day. While we were listening to the organizers say their parting words, one particular message from a facilitator named Shafik, who had helped us buy an adapter when we first arrived, made a mark on me that has reminded me countless times up to this day of who I am as a Pisai scholar. Shafik said, be a good scientist one day help your country. To our highly esteemed speakers for today's event, Honorable Alfredo M. Cora II, Sir, Municipal Mayor of Del Carmen, Surigal del Norte, and Ms. Elaine M. Morales, President of the Philippine Science High School National Alumni Association, Ma'am, our respectable VIP guests, Dr. Rosepa Paloma, President of Northeastern Mindanao Colleges, and Dr. Jonald P. Penesios, Campus Director of Philippine Science High School, Southern Mindanao Campus, and our very own dynamic school director, Engineer Ramil A. Sanchez, our hardworking chiefs of the various administrative divisions, CID Chief Dr. Mary Ann M. Ganzon, SSD Chief Ms. Jasmine Gumapak, and FAD Chief Ms. Charity S. Romano, all the dedicated members of the faculty and staff, including our wonderful teachers, our dearest guests, parents, grandparents, relatives, and friends who are proudly joining us today, either in person or on the screens. And of course, the 88 people whose presence today means nothing if not a testimony of their six-year-long efforts and a representation of their journey's success. Dearest batchmates, PSHS CRC's graduating class of 2022, Alas Asurgo. To all of you, a pleasant afternoon. If my 12-year-old self from six years ago was told that entering Pisay would mean that I would graduate as a totally different person, she would never have believed it. I say this because I recall coming into my very first day of school, believing that although high school was going to be different and loads more difficult, one could still surely get through it by utilizing the most foolproof way to succeed in school, focusing solely on academics. 
Pretty much everyone had told us before we entered as freshmen that constantly studying and doing well in school would be the bare minimum required from us as Pisai scholars. And we all accepted that. After all, it was true. I, for one, even embraced it as I knew from early on, even in my elementary years, that Pisai was going to be an undisputed choice as a high school if I got in. Even if, at that time, I still had no clue what I wanted to be when I grew up. My choosing this school was never a result of my parents' influence, nor was it about the prestige and benefits of being in the premier science high school in the country. All I really knew was that I always seemed to choose either math or science when asked, what is your favorite subject? So I just hoped that I made the right choice, and from then on, hoped that Pisai would pave the way for what was meant for me. I did not expect, though, that that path for what was meant for me would start off as a very rough and bumpy road that I was immediately tempted to get off of. During the first few weeks, I had already barely passed my first math long test, received a lot of tiny red marks on my ad tech plates, and realized that during performances, you and your classmates were going to have to do it alone because no one else had the responsibility of helping you. Now, this may have come as no surprise to some or most of my classmates, but I, as somebody who was very accustomed to the less taxing environment of a private school which I had been in since I was three years old, all of this was completely new to me. And contrary to my initial belief, these were not things that you could overcome just by studying. This challenge during the first few weeks was a glimpse of what the real world was going to be like a world that's not always going to be in your favor. That period of having to endure a fast and unexpected shift from our comfort zone was life. And life is never constant. Life always means change. And when things in our lives change, so do we. My idea of what an exemplary Pisai student looked like with a textbook in hand was replaced by a vision of somebody who was adaptable, somebody who could take the reins when needed, someone who could respond to any challenge hurled at them, and someone who would remain steadfast despite all odds. As the meme goes, improvise, adapt, and overcome, which is precisely what we did as we fared through the waves of uncertainty that slowly calmed down as we just kept sailing through our freshman year and the next ones. However, just as we were reaching the peak of our mid-high school years, we were then again put to the test, along with the rest of the world, when a deadly virus infiltrated the country before we even got around to starting fourth quarter back in 10th grade. The day we went home from a normal day of school for the very last time marked another shift from our day-to-day -day reality, which once more represented the seldom discomfort and unpredictability of life. It was another call for us to evolve, albeit in a more difficult manner, as talks in classrooms and walks to the canteen were reduced to Discord sessions and group chats on our phone screens. However, separated by distance as we might have been, we were still always inseparable by heart, lifting each other up and helping those who struggled find their way back. And although that period now is just a speck of dust that we can look back on in the map of our life's journey, we must not forget that like all the other challenges that we once faced, it also made us part of who we are today. As we learn from our bad days, we also treasure the good ones. My fondest memories within those six years have always been when I was in the company of people who in one way or another helped me learn or try something new. It was this new mindset I learned from them to live your life to the fullest that made me expand my horizons and see myself no longer as just a high school student, but as a future change maker, a leader, and a visionary. This I owe to a number of individuals who have dedicated their lives to helping me in a way that has also made me want to help others. But first, I thank the Almighty Father, for without Him, I would not have had the chance to meet these people who have helped shape me into who and what I am, and without whom, nothing would have come into fruition. Throughout the years, the Lord has shown me that the simple act of keeping faith in Him changes everything. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me time and time again that when you close a door, somewhere you open a window. We will always be in the pursuit of making use of this rare gift of opportunity that you have bestowed upon us, and we hope to channel your goodness always for the greater good. Next, I thank the people who are my greatest pride in the whole world. 
my family. To my younger sister, Alan, who has given me the will to go on more times than she'll ever know, just by giving me a hug or listening to whatever I have to say, even when she's working, you're going to do much greater things in life, and I just know it. Thank you also to my grandparents, who are the reason I'm here in CRC in the first place, because they would not let me be so far away from them to study in the main campus. Thank you for opening your homes to me and my classmates whenever we needed a place to practice, play ping pong, and just hang out. It has given me no greater comfort that you're always looking out for me, even from afar. To my dear parents, mommy and papa, who have given me everything they have and more, just so I would be able to live a life that was not bound by the impossible, but instead defined by endless possibilities. Not once did I ever experience any sort of academic pressure from you throughout high school, because to you, what mattered was never the circumstances in my life, but how I responded to them. Thank you for instilling in me life's most essential principles and for believing in me even at times of doubt. Thank you to my mom for always knowing when I needed a pep talk or a hug. No matter where I am, it will always be your voice that I look for at the end of every day. Papa, I remember that one time you helped me get through the last quarter of ComSci in grade 8 just by laughing with me because of how hard I told you it was for me. You reminded me that stress is never worth half your energy and that's something I'm taking with me for life. On behalf of the batch, we thank you, our dear families, for your unconditional love for us. You're the reasons that we keep going and we will forever continue making you proud. To our dear teachers, our beacons of inspiration who have enriched not only our minds, but also our lives, we owe everything that we have learned in Pisai to all of you. You may have only taught us one subject or two, but you have given us something far more important than any learning guide ever has. You have given us a passion for excellence. Pisai teachers have always been known for being instrumental in shaping the caliber and character of the future science leaders of the nation. And I am proud to have once sat in the class that you took the time and effort to teach, all because you believed that we would make it someday. To the teachers who became our closest friends, mentors, coaches, and volleyball or basketball teammates, you truly are one of a kind, and our only wish for you is that you continue touching young kids' hearts. Today is the day that we can finally get to promise that we will make it someday, and it will all be because of you. Now, a journey is something that is often started alone, but is much better traveled with the right companions by your side. Batch Alas Asurgo, House S-T-A-R-K, Batch Bente Bente Dos, there is no one else I would rather have shared all the ups and downs of my teenage years with than you. Never have I ever met a more fun and daring bunch of individuals whom I also looked up to for being the most versatile people I have gotten to know. In this batch, I met the most talented graphic artist whom I could listen to for hours while she played top of the world on the piano. I met a guy who could write a rap about statistics in the blink of an eye, all the while teaching you how to play the drums. I witnessed classmates dance as passionately as they played on the volleyball court, and I watched in wonder as the funniest guy in class transformed to someone unrecognizable in a school play. I could go on and on about the all-arounder journalists, the MVPs, and the seemingly quiet ones with the most incredible ideas. But the bottom line is, each one of you is amazing in your uniqueness, and you have my utmost admiration. Having such brilliant people around me who could do just about anything challenged me to continuously become a better person. And it was an even greater blessing to have formed an everlasting bond with you through the friendships that we made. Thank you for all the moments of uncontrollable laughter, inside jokes, pre-exam cramming sessions, and Among Us gaming breaks. I know that we could have experienced so much more together if only life was a bit kinder to us the past two years. But I feel absolutely blessed to have been given one last time with you all as a batch amidst the pre-college uncertainties, anxieties, and disappointments that we may have faced the past month. Having you by my side was the silver lining. To all of my friends, those that have been there since grade seven, those I've made along the way, and those whom I've gotten the pleasure to know just recently, I can only hope that I've made a mark on your lives as significant as the ones that you have made on mine. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for the pleasure of being your batchmate.
Finally, to cap it all off, I thank Pisai, my life's greatest game changer. I entered this institution as a dreamer, and I'm leaving it as an even bigger dreamer with a plan. Thanks to Pisai, I learned the essence of life when I realized that being a stellar student with good grades is not what being a student of Philippine Science High School is about at all. It's about being brave enough to answer when you're called in an oral recitation, even if you had no clue what the question was. It's about getting by despite stressful days of backlogs by allowing yourself to be helped by those who care for you. It's about never being an athlete back in elementary, but learning how to play a sport during interim season just for the fun of it. It's about learning how to make friends with people who seemed so intimidating at first, but turned out to be the most caring people you have ever known. It's about taking risks, discovering and exploring passions old and new, and always aspiring not to be better than anyone, but being the best version of yourself. So now, what comes next? It's finally time to fulfill the be a good scientist part from my friend Shafiq's words as a final step towards helping our beloved country. We are at the end of one journey and at the beginning of another, college, where life will once again test us by pulling us out of our comfort zones and into a world of unfamiliarity and thrill. Batchmates, I know that right now, the occasional thoughts of where we're going to end up in still frighten us from time to time especially given unforeseen circumstances and things beyond our grasp. But I can and I will tell you this. Batch 2022 is going to bloom wherever we are planted. Lieutenant Bradshaw from Top Gun Maverick once said, it's not the plane, it's the pilot. And we have long been trained to become the best naval aviators by Pisai so that no matter what kind of plane life decides to give us, no matter what university we will soon be in or wherever corner of the world we might be, we will always rise up, defy gravity, and shine. This is why we soar onwards and upwards, and this is why we are alas a surgo. My dearest batchmates, let us now charge towards the future. We are ready, and it is finally time to take flight as we carry on in the pursuit of truth and in the fight for the right. Lagit lagi para sa bayan. Once again, alas, Asurgo, the future is ours. Thank you, everyone, and good afternoon. Thank you very much, Shanti. The recognition of graduates will be facilitated by our school registrar, Ms. Marife D. Malyonga. May we also request the presence of these individuals here in front. Our campus director, Engineer Emil A. Sanchez. Our guests, Honorable Alfredo M. Coro II. Mayor-elect of Del Carmen's Regal del Norte. Dr. Jonel P. Fenesios, campus director of Philippine Science High School, Southern Mindanao Campus. Ms. Elaine M. Morales, the former president of the Philippine Science High School National Alumni Association, together with our DOST 13 Regional Director, Engineer Noel Ahok, our GPTA President, Dr. Kathleen Gamutan, together with our Division Chiefs. A big hand, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of Philippine Science High School, Caraga Region Campus. Aala, Marie Katerina Grace O. Abamonga, Idiza Jane T. Adriake Fiona Faith Y.
Aguilar, Andre John S. Ancheta, Alexis Gwen. Aquino, Dean Benedict S. Aranguiz, Princess J. Arkisola, Ralph Elijah F. Atupan, Cheyenne Simone T. Bakatan, Jose Carlos B. Balagot, Ana Micaela D. Balanon, Fiona Rafaela R. Balbontin, Alpha Joshua M. Balesteros, Chloe John C. Batalia, Jenna Lou P. Benito, Iraya Monica B. Bernales, Gwyneth Grace E. Boholano, Keith Limuel D. Brodith, Leon Pearl P. Bug us, Alessandra T. Bughau, Nelson Enrico Nicolo M. (laughs) 
Bolieser, Cyrus Jr. D. Kalo, Carl Matthew A. Kanonoy, Nigel Andre B. Capicinio, Kyla P. Castile, Marie Margaret A. Kayomo, John Lloyd D. Simagala, Dominic Joseph G. Kogal, Baby Roselle B. Kreensha, Nico Carl B. Cultura, Richie Angelo E. Dessa Lisa, Yuel Marlu R. Diva Miguel E. Doc Doc Jubert Angelo P. Duenas, Marielle M. Domago, Karil May O. Inesho, John Philip M. Espirito, 
Derek Alexander A. Espirito, Isaac Nathan A. Estimos, Jem Kevin S. Estrada, Lucille Marie D. Etor, Jezreel C. Ganka, Carl John E. Julingo, Isabella Juliet C. Gilbero, Vindinis Mica S. Gisando, John Robert G. Pearl, Susani Christini A. Hamero, Cecilia Hasmin V. Hayoma, Jules Vincent B. Hayoma, Nikki Margaret Margaret U. Humamoy, Phoebe Jean Hart L. Ladaga, Fiona T. Ladonga, Sophia Hope T. Ladonga, 
Lagat, Aloysius John D. Las Ponyas, Denzel Grace O. Lissandra, Emmanuel John P. Lokias, Josie C. Medado, Daniel John P. Minor, Kiro Chris L. Miolata, Ellen Shane R. Miro, Pearl Jasmine Z. Montenegro, Lance Joseph T. Neri, Vershim Ray E. Nonan, Savior Mark S. Nuyad, Ives Tristan S. Paluga, Erin Joyce M. Panal, Paul Kirby P. Pakio, Winnie C. Payot, 
Master Manro L. Pogata, Ken Christian F. Priete, Algeric L. Rico Sosa, Bethel Ruth M. Reyes, Emily Marielle. Ron Kilio, K R. Rosales, John Kyle C. Rosales Thaddeus Rosero Anigen V Sabandal, Rowleen Kale P. Salang, Kim Ray V. Salang, Matt Lawrence L. Silvio, Jewel May A. Soriano, Joshua, Gabriel A. Tejano, Alia Nicole R. Tomaneng, Shaina Delia G. Tu 
Kuazon, Jerji Yu. Vicariato, John Harvey R. Roberto Dazzo, Medard Carl R. Zafra, Princess T. Once again, Congratulations to the graduates of class 2022. Congratulations once again to the Alasa Surgo class of 2022. Moving forward, our graduates have also exemplified excellence in academics, co-curricular activities, and community service. Now, we shall present the awards to the graduates who have shown exemplary performance for the past six years here at PSHSCRC. We will also recognize the graduates who have shown exemplary performance in various subject areas. Recipients of these awards were screened based on the students' involvement and grades. May we call on our Curriculum and Instruction Division Chief, Dr. Mary Ann M. Ganzon for the recognition of the Academic Awardees, Excellence Awardees, Special Excellence Awardees, and Leadership Awardees of the Alas Asurgo Class of 2022. May we also request once again our campus director, Engineer Emil A. Sanchez, and our guests together with our division chiefs for the distribution and giving of these awards. A resounding applause, please. To our commencement speaker, guest, campus director, parents, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present you the recipients of the Academic Awards for Class 2022, Alas Asurgo. To Manning Shaina Delia G. with highest honors. Wazon Jerji Yu with highest honors. Dumago Karil May O with high honors. Kalo Carl Matthew A with high honors.
Lisondra Emmanuel John P. with high honors. Arkisola Ralph Elijah F. with high honors. Earl Susani Christini A. with high honors. Camero Cecilia Hasmin V with high honors. Las Ponyas Danzel Grace O with high honors. Payot Master Manro L with high honors. Reyes Amelie Mariel with high honors. Cultura Richie Angelo E with high honors. Bernales Gwyneth Grace E with high honors. Pugal Baby Russell B. with high honors. Rosero Anijin V with high honors.
Itor Giseril C. with high honors. Silvio Jewel May A. with high honors. Aala Marie Caterina Grace O. with high honors. Atupan Shayan Simone T. with high honor. Benito Iraya Monica B. with high honors. Nuyad Ives Tristan S. with high honors. Sabandal Roland Kale P. With high honors. Batalia Jenny Lou P. With high honors. Jolingo Isabella Juliet C. with high honors. Paluga Erin Joyce M. with high honors. Dok-Dok Jubert Angelo P. with high honors. Desalisa Uel Marlo R. with high honors.
Pugata Kent Christian F. With high honors. Aranges Princess J with high honors. Estrada Lucille Marie D. With high honors. Ronquillo K.R. With high honors. Brodette Lian Pearl P with high honors. Inesho Jan Philip M. with high honors. Gisando John Robert G. with high honors. Hayoma Nikki Margaret Yu with high honors. Lagat Aloysius John D. with high honors. Neri Vershim Ray E. with high honors. Pakeo Winnie C. with high honors. Espirito Isaac Nathan A. with high honors.
Capicinio Kaila P. With high honors. Bakatan Jose Carlos B. With high honors. Espiritu Derek Alexander A. With high honors. Criencia Nico Carl P. With high honors. Diva Miguel E. With high honors. Ladaga Fiona T. With high honors. Nero Pearl Jasmine Z with high honors. Rico Sosa Bethel Ruth M with high honors. Gilbero Vindenis Maika S. With high honors. Pumamoy Febby Jean Hart L. With high honors. Minor Kiro Chris L. With high honors. Priete Algeric L. With high honors. Balanon Fiona Rafaela R. With high honors. Rosales Thaddeus with high honors.
Moving forward for the Excellence Awardees. Tumaning Shaina Delia G. Excellence Award in Biology. Excellence Award in Mathematics. Excellence Award in English. Excellence Award in Social Science. Benito Iraya Monica B. Excellence Award in Chemistry. Hamero Cecilia Hasmin V. Excellence Award in Research. Lisondra Emmanuel John P. Excellence Award in Computer Science. Sabandal Roland KLP. Excellence Award in Filipino. Itor Jezreel C. Excellence Award in Filipino Journalism. Jolingo Isabella Juliet C. Excellence Award in Arts and Ad Tech. Earl Susani Christini A. Excellence Award in Physical Education, Health, and Music. And for the special awardees, Tumaning Shain Delia G. DUST Secretary Award for Model Science Scholar. Sabandal Roland KLP, Philippine Science High School Leadership Award. Once again, congratulations to our academic excellence and special awardees.
Congratulations once again to our awardees. May you continue to seek for excellence as you go on with the next chapter of your journey. There are many periods in life worthy of celebrating, capturing, and memorializing, especially through a song. Memories of victories, heartaches, friendships, and even funny and meaningful episodes we shared with our batchmates for six long years are just some of the many things we don't want to forget. In the Philippine Science High School, we make it sure that these memories will forever be engraved in the hearts of our dear graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, to sing their hearts out and share to you their song of success, let us welcome the graduates of the Alas Asurgo class of 2022 with their batch song titled Up On, composed by Ellen Shane Muleta and their graduation song. A round of applause, please. Si 
Thank you very much. Graduates of Alas Asurgo, class of 2022. May your song serve as guide and light in your journey, and may your relationships among your batchmates remain strong as you open a new chapter in your lives. Never forget all the memories you share together, and may you continue to inspire and ignite other people's lives in pursuit of the untarnished truth. Our dear graduates, as you continue to champion STEM education for greater adaptability and resilience, not just in Caraga region, but to the world, we wish you to embody the core values and ideals of the Philippine Science High School system wherever you go and whatever you do. Your loyalty to your alma mater will be her pride and glory. The pledge of loyalty to the alma mater will be led by Kareel May O. Dumago, a last Asurgo class of 2022 academic awardee with high honors. A resounding applause, please. Please rise. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. We, Batch 2022 graduates of Philippine Science High School, Caraga Region Campus, do hereby and hereon pledge loyalty to the thrust of the DOST and the principles and noble ideals for which the school has been established and to the value formation towards science and technology which she has earnestly taught us. We further swear to exert our zealous and genuine effort to bring prestige not only to ourselves and to our parents, but also to our beloved alma mater, PSHS Caraga Region Campus, to our country, and above all, we pledge to remain worthy and true to our Almighty God. Thank you, Kirill. The induction to the Alumni Association will be led by the former president of the Philippine Science High School National Alumni Association, Ms. Elaine M. Morales, Philippine Science High School Main Campus, Batch of 1993. A round of applause. Itaas ang kanang kamay para sa panunumpa ng alumni ng mataas na paaralan ng Pilipinas sa agham. Ako si Sabihin ng pangalan Bilang nagtapos sa mataas na paaralan ng Pilipinas sa agham Ay tauspusong inilalaan ang aking sarili sa pagtataguyod ng mga adhikain ng asosasyon ng mga nagtapos sa paaralang ito. Na kumilos ng wasto, na aayon at may dangal sa lahat ng oras. Na ipagpatuloy ang pagsulong ng kataas-taasang antas ng kagalingan sa lahat ng aking mga gawain na isinasaloob ang kapakanan ng asosasyon 
para sa mas makabuluhang layunin na makapagsilbi sa aking paaralan ang mataas na paaralan ng Pilipinas sa GAM sa aking bayan at higit sa lahat sa aking Diyos na lumikha. Patnubayan na wako ng Diyos. Congratulations, graduates, and welcome to the Philippine Science High School National Alumni Association. Just so the NAAs or the National Alumni Association's call to our youngest batch of alumni are three things: connect, serve, like, and follow. No, so connect, make friends with your with alumni of other batches and other campuses. Attend homecomings, okay? Uh, stay connected, be active members of the NAA. All graduates of the Philippine Science High School system are automatic members of the NAA. So it's the activation of membership that differentiates some from the others. So be active. And then of course, serve. Volunteer when you can. Contribute when you can. Eventually, when you're done with your studies, you may also be invited as speakers uh, to the different campuses. So, uh, welcome those invitations. And then last, like and follow. Like our National Alumni Association page on Facebook. <laughs> we have a website, that's pshsnaa.org. And then, uh, we'll, we will wait for you. We will welcome you to the PSHS NAA Facebook group. Okay, so I'll see you there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Elaine. Once again, congratulations, Alas Asurgo class of 2022. You are now official alumni members of the Philippine Science High School System Alumni Association. Your loyalty to our alma mater is what makes the Pisay system stronger in upholding its vision and mission for our country. At this juncture, a closing remarks will be given to us by Emmanuel John P. Lisondra, Alas Asurgo, Class of 2022, Academic Awardee with high honors. A big hand, please. Esteemed guests, students, parents, faculty and staff, good afternoon. Today, we have talked much about our achievements, both as individuals and as a batch. Thus, before we formally close this program, I want us to look back on the challenges that have taught us much about ourselves and on the hurdles that molded us into the people that we are today. Much of our achievements were the products of sleepless nights, sheer effort, and collaboration. I remember preparing for a test the next day, writing and rewriting notes until it finally clicked, studying together mere minutes before a major exam, assembling, testing, and reassembling our projects, like Goldberg machines and wooden crafts, among others, until everything just fell into place, or even spending hours in the sun just to get the perfect shot of a clip for a video output. Countless hours of hard work and dedication have led to this. The mere conduct of an in-person graduation is somewhat of a blessing in itself, especially in the case of our batch. I think I'm speaking for everyone when I say that our high school experience didn't exactly go as planned. None of us expected to spend the last two years learning at home, and between adjusting to the new modality and keeping up with the workload, it couldn't have been easy. For nearly the entirety of grades 11 and 12, we connected with our classmates and teachers completely through virtual means. We went from attending classes in our uniforms to joining synchronous meetings in our pajamas, and from being in a controlled and focused environment to having to create our own spaces within our homes. Class recitations were especially challenging, with network issues making it difficult to relay our thoughts to the class. But even then, we made it work. After some time, we became adept at managing these issues and finding spaces where we could get work done uninterrupted. Then, before we knew it, we were back in school. 
participating in face-to-face -face classes meant that we, once again, had to adjust. Overnight, our sleep cycles changed, and suddenly, we were once again taking notes from a physical lecture in place of pre-recorded videos. Going through such experience, I can certainly say that I learned to accept change and adapt to them more readily. And that's likely the case for everyone else here too. So despite all of the curveballs thrown our way, here we are, still standing. Our batch has shown resiliency amidst all of these challenges, and I couldn't be prouder of us all. As such, I'd like to dedicate this to our parents, as well as the faculty and staff of Pisay Caraga, for their endless support and guidance in preparing us for what's to come. To our moms and sirs, moms and dads, titos and titas, lolos and lolas, we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for being a part of this beautiful journey, and thank you so, so much for everything you've done into making us the people that we are today. Finally, my dear batchmates, you've made the past six years into a journey that I'll treasure forever. In you, I've found people that I know I could count on no matter what. Today might mark the end of an arduous six-year journey, but it also marks the beginning of the rest of our lives. So, once again, congratulations, Alas Asurgo, and may we all spread our wings and soar high, upwards and onwards. Thank you very much, MJ. Let us honor the Philippine Science High School and the Department of Science and Technology by singing the PSHS hymn to be conducted by Susani Cristini A. Hurl Alas Asurgo Class of 2022 Academic Awardee with High Honors to be followed by the singing of the DOST hymn to be conducted by Cecilia Hasman V. Hamero Alas Asurgo Class of 2022 Academic Awardee with High Honors. Please rise.
And that concludes our third commencement exercises for today. Thank you all for coming. This has been Jay Mikey. And Lily Dale Montalban Subla. Happy to be with you in this historic third commencement exercises of the Philippine Science High School, Caraga Region Campus. May you keep your fire burning and be the light of our nation in inspiring the younger generations to come. Alas, Asurgo class of 2022, go forth and continue to champion the STEM education. Mabuhay ang Pisay Karaga! The exit of the colors! The Recessional!